Oh, hi there, uh, me chicken nuggets. It's me, Carl. Welcome to Grow TV. Arr. Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Carl. Where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome to Grow TV. Abbas, welcome back to another episode of the Grow TV. I did. <coughs> Ouch. Okay, I can't do that voice too much. It hurts my throat. Now, if y'all remember correctly, last week I found a treasure map. And it was at that moment I chose to become a pirate. That's right, it's nothing but open seas and bad breath for the future for me. Anywho, I want to hop on for a second and practice a couple little things for, the, uh, for, for you, uh, with us. For you. Now, in the past week, I've realized how different pirates can be from normal people. Do you know pirates ate a lot of beans and bread? you think it would be a lot of fish, but apparently it wasn't worth the amount of work to catch fish. They didn't have a lot of choices, so beans and bread were always on the menu. And I'm not a huge fan of bean sandwiches, but I can try. Also, I found out pirates have an interesting and silly way of talking. I mean, they have so many words that they use that I never knew existed. Like this, for example. What do you think cackle fruit means? Does it mean food that's gone bad or eggs? You're right, eggs. That's weird, right? So y'all want to learn some pirate lingo, uh, lingo with me? Okay, first to talk like a pirate, you gotta lower your voice to uh, like a like a growl. Like, rawr, rawr. So instead of saying, wow, you'll say, shiver me timbers. Very good. Next, instead of saying, good morning, fellow human being, you'll say, ahoy, matey. Lastly, instead of saying, oh, friend, let's not fight, you can simply say, barley me hearted. That one's kind of obvious, though. But all those cool? I figured just in case you ever wanted to be a pirate like me, you should learn how they talk. So keep on practicing. Aye, aye, Captain. Well, ho there, Andrew. Looks like you've really gone all in on this pirate thing, huh, Carl? That's Captain Carl, you, sir. And yes, this is now my life. I'm one step closer to finding the treasure from this treasure map, especially now that I can talk like a pirate. I see. Well, I think that's pretty cool, because right now I'm going to talk about how we can use our words to be wise. Hey, that sounds kind of lubberish. What does that mean? Not a clue, still learning. <laughs> okay, well, all right, anyway, kids, I want to share something really cool that I learned this week. Well, first, do you know what a rudder is? Well, I didn't until I read the book of James and came across the word. Essentially, it's a part of the ship that steers it and tells it which way to go. But I didn't realize how small the rudder is. There are some ships that are absolutely massive, but the rudder, debatably the most important part of the ship, is so tiny. James also mentions how a wildfire can start from the tiniest spark. Did you say fire? Um, yeah. I'm terrified of fire. Okay, anyway. What does this have to do with our words? Well, just like the spark or the rudder, our tongue is small compared to the rest of the body. But our tongue and our mouth help us to talk. And the words we use are just as powerful as the rudder or the spark. Fire can be used for good, right? Nope. Well, Carl, I know it can. Nope, fire's bad. Well, think about it. It can help warm people's houses, cook food, boil water, but it can also do harm, right? Yep. Houses burn down, forests can be destroyed. So just like fire can be used for good or bad, so can our words. Our words have power to help others or hurt them. So we must be careful to use our words wisely. There is a prayer in Psalm 19 that uses these words. May these words of my mouth and this meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight. I think a way that a pirate can learn to watch his or her words is by learning the ways of God. If you read all of chapter 19, it's about finding real joy in God's instruction for our lives. Just like following a map leads to treasure, following God leads to abilities that we didn't have before. We can speak to others in ways that build them up. We can please God with our choices. We can listen and obey our parents. We can do so much more than we thought we were able to do when we follow the instructions that God has for us. So remember the power of your words, Pirate Carl. Ah, Captain. Wait, now I'm a pirate too? Takes one known. Anyway, when you feel like your words or your actions aren't what they should be, look to God for help and remember the instructions that you found in God's story. All of this influences the kind of person or pirate you can be. Switch.
All right, today's big idea is I can be wise by choosing my words carefully, okay? So let's say it out loud on the count of three as loud as we possibly can. One, two, three. I can be wise by choosing my words carefully. Right. Wonderful job, perfect, absolutely great. Everyone did incredible, except for, no, I'm kidding. Everyone did great. Didn't they do great, Captain Carl? Right? Captain Carl? Cap Captain Carl, are you there? I'm here, Andy. Now that I've learned the importance of choosing our words wisely, I think I'm sorry, uh, I think I'm ready to start looking for my treasure. It's gonna be fun. See y'all later. Thank you for watching, and tune in next week for a new episode of.